What does it mean to subtract a negative number? For example, negative 5 minus negative 3. In this lesson, you will learn to subtract integers by using integer chips. Let's review. Integers can be modeled with chips. Yellow chips represent positive numbers, and red chips represent negative numbers. A zero pair is made when opposite quantities have a sum of zero. Here are the opposite quantities, positive 1 and negative 1. You can think of the opposites as canceling each other out. Because they have a sum of 0, 1 and negative 1 are a zero pair. Let's review the rules for adding integers. When we add numbers with like signs, we add the two numbers together. The sum will have the same sign as the add-ins. When we add numbers with different signs, we make zero pairs. The sum will have the same sign as the number with more chips. A common misunderstanding is to think that adding more chips always changes the value on the mat. However, this is not the case. On the mat, we have a value of positive 1. If we add another yellow chip, we have a value of positive 2. If instead, we add a value of negative 1, we make a zero pair and the value is zero. However, if we start with our original chip and then add a zero pair, we have not changed the value on the mat. In fact, we can add as many zero pairs as we like, but the value on the mat will still be positive 1. Let's look at some examples. I have $5, I spend $3. I have a value of positive 5. When I spend $3, I remove 3 positive chips. 5 minus 3 equals 2. I have $2 left. I owe my brother $5. I fold his laundry and he forgives three dollars of my debt. I have five negative chips to represent my debt. After I do my brother a favor, he removes three dollars of my debt, so I can remove three negative chips. Negative five minus negative three equals negative two. I am still two dollars in debt. I have three dollars, I spend five dollars. I want to spend five dollars, but I don't have five chips on my mat. If I simply add two more positive chips, I'm changing the original value on the mat. So I must add two positive chips and two negative chips to make a zero pair. When I add the zero pair to the mat, the value on the mat has not changed. Now I'm able to spend my five dollars, and I'm left with two red chips. Three minus five equals negative two. Because I have spent more than I had, I am now $2 in debt. Let's try another problem. Negative 2 minus negative 3. I have negative 2 on the mat. I want to subtract negative 3, but I don't have enough negatives to remove. I add a zero pair without changing the value on the mat. Now I am able to subtract negative 3, and I'm left with a value of positive 1. Negative 2 minus negative 3 equals positive 1. Let's do one more example. 3 minus negative 3. I have 3 positive chips. I want to remove 3 negative chips, but I don't have any negatives on the mat. I add 3 zero pairs without changing the original value. Now I'm able to remove negative 3 chips. I'm left with a value of positive 6. 3 minus negative 3 equals positive 6. In this lesson, you have learned to subtract integers by using integer chips.